Hey Pisces, how are you? When I was meditating on your energy, I was asking spirit what's coming towards Pisces. And spirit says that there's prosperity and freedom coming towards Pisces, but Pisces has to really believe and trust in themselves. I feel like you have not completely been fully trusting in yourself, Pisces. Um, know that you are divinely guided and protected right now. I feel like you have not been completely trusting in your abilities because you're weighing which way you should go when it comes to... Um, being in a regular job or seeking something a spiritual type of job that's what i'm getting that you're gonna have to have some type of courage when it comes to that because it's like do i choose regular mundane things or do i choose my spirituality i feel like something is going on probably within the household maybe things are not as stable as you would like them to be so that's causing some type of um, disturbance in your peace of mind. Um, I'm getting that you have, you're looking for these blessings. You're asking spirit, where is my prosperity? And spirit is saying it may not come when you want it, but it's going to be right on time. So I feel like once you know that you know, or you really believe that it's there, I'm also getting that you not having this complete peace of mind and not completely trusting and believing in yourself, Pisces, that is slowing down your manifestations. You got got to really believe that it's happening is it's like um tapping into that space and using your visualization seeing yourself with it already i feel like that's a part of what you're missing from this manifestation quality is not seeing yourself with it because i feel like in the past things were so disrupted for you to sometimes the mind may tend to go back to how things were in the past and spirit is saying that that cycle is complete now pisces and trust that you were set on another path to see things more vividly and more clear and what you need to really be seeing right now is your prosperity and your blessings and you having all that you possibly could wish for right now um letting go of any old thoughts or old beliefs that don't serve you because i feel like this has a lot to do with old beliefs as well you know in these old beliefs are affecting you in some type of way okay spirit give me some more messages for pisces what other messages do you have for Pisces spirit? Give me some more messages for Pisces. What's coming towards Pisces? Okay. We have the Isle of Avalon, rest and renewal, um, healing and mystery. I feel like that what's coming towards you, Pisces, is this form of mystery because you can't see exactly how it's going it don't never come when you want it but it's gonna be right on time and i feel like this is affecting your rest in some type of way but know that you have completed the cycle and that old cycle that old part of you is dead and gone that's what i'm hearing okay we got Nimu right here. This is about being confident in yourself, being confident that you can create opportunities for yourself. Um, not even not just wanting people to have respect for you, Pisces, but you having respect for you, you having respect for your abilities. Okay, and this is also about self esteem. Okay, people told you tore you down in the past, and I think that affected your self esteem. So that has something to do with you trusting yourself fully. And spirit is saying that do not let these things hold you back from something that could be very stable. You are so magical, and since you're so magical, you can create anything you want. It's about being that magician and and stepping into that magical energy and being the visionary that you are and visual visualizing yourself having everything that you possibly could want and also this is about being happy with those visions as well because i feel like you're not as happy as you should be because you're in a totally different space right now and so it's like it's <laughs> it, this is new to you so you're trying to adjust to this new okay we have the Lady of Shallots, okay? This is about playing the victim and getting caught up in these illusions. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that this is someone from the past, okay, Pisces? I feel like 
<laughs> your past loves to creep up on you, okay? And I feel like this is something that's affecting your visualization because maybe in some way you tend to creep back to the past yourself. Not only do these people or these old people from your past try to drag you back, you creep back to the past. Maybe you be going back, people back through the door of your past and thinking that you could have changed something in your past and you couldn't, Pisces. This is about going forth and looking at the new and what it is that you can do in your new environment okay the old environment does not serve you anymore so it's time to move on from that you're nobody's doormat pisces it's like these people or this person from the past they thought that they can wipe their foot on you when they entered in and they feel like they can wipe their foot on you when they enter out and that's something that you don't want i'm hearing i can do bad by myself i don't need no one to help me do bad Okay, Spirit, give me some more messages for Pisces. What other messages do you have for Pisces, Spirit? Okay, we got the Lady of the Lake. This is about that goddess energy. Even though things may seem like a mystery right now, um, Pisces, this is about self-acknowledgement, okay? Knowing that you are this magical being that's of this other world, but in accepting who you are. I feel like this accepting who you are has a lot to do with your career path as well. Are you going to stay in the 3D realm or do you choose to go to 5D and higher? It's, it's about um, do I stay with the mundane, regular, smegular things or do I go on this spiritual path? that's going to lead me to this prosperity this is about that that goddess energy about regardless of the mystery it doesn't matter because you're the seer and you're the manifester okay you're a master manifester at that so this is about acknowledging that you're that you're a master manifester and that you can manifest anything you want at any given time you can change your reality at any time pisces okay that's what i'm hearing we have Chalice Hill. This is about being in balance always. I feel like this has a lot to do with self-care. Spirit is saying stay on top of the self-care, Pisces, because when you stay on top of this self-care, then this helps create this balance in you, and it helps you have more faith in yourself. So Spirit is saying that stay on top of your self-care. You know, like learn how to go out in nature and breathe in that good air, okay? Learn how to meditate. Also get yourself in a space of rest. Rest your mind. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Spirit, give me some more messages for Pisces. What other messages do you have for Pisces today, Spirit? Give me a few more messages for Pisces. What is coming towards Pisces? Okay, this is shared win. Okay, this is about that transformation that you made. This was about that rebirth. It's time to step all the way into your creativity, Pisces. That's what Spirit is saying, that maybe if you get creative right now, you start doing something, then you won't be worried about your past. Your creativity is leading you into your future. You have to get inspired about something, Pisces. Maybe that's it. You're sitting around not being as inspired as you need to be about who you are and what path you're on. So you need to start creating right now, okay? You need to get in that creative energy, that self-care energy, and in that creative energy, and that's going to take your mind off of your past and things that you can't fix about your past because I feel like you always want to be the fixer Pisces you know you always want to fix something that you can't fix you have to let go of this old way of thinking you have to know that you transform so there's a level of clarity that should be there about your past and about your future spirit give me a few more messages for Pisces what other messages do you have for Pisces? Okay, we got Igraine. This is about stepping all the way into that feminine energy, okay? This is about knowing that you're beautiful inside and out and accepting that, Pisces. I feel like maybe that's what's holding you back. You haven't accepted the person that you are right now. I feel like... People around you are learning how to accept that you've changed, but have you accepted the fact that you've changed? Have you accepted the fact that you're a totally different person? Up under the bottom of the deck, we have 
blowed with okay this is about manifestation this is about knowing exactly what you want pisces knowing exactly what you want creating that visualization and 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 living out that visualization okay knowing that you are free from anything that can hold you back you are not your past anymore okay we got the abbey this is about creating a sacred space, okay? I feel like that maybe you need to not only um, go out in nature and focus on this self-care, but maybe while you're inside your home, you need to create this sacred space for yourself, a space to meditate and to stay lined up, Pisces, okay? Because I feel like you need to stay in this form of of that you're free and that you can have anything that you want and you can manifest anything that you want. I feel like having creating this sacred space is going to help you really tap into these magic abilities that you have, okay? That's the reading. If the reading resonated with you, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.